Without a doubt, the excitement is building. It's a lot of fun and I'm excited to see where it can go. I just take the opportunity it was given and uh, I'm excited for it. St. Louis native Brandon Williams is leading the front office for the St. Louis Battlehawks. Right now, he is supervising anywhere from 10 to 12 full-time employees. But once the season gets underway, that number could soar to 30 or even 40 employees. In my position, I'm pretty much like the team president. I oversee all of our fan engagement game day operations, so the execution of an actual game. We got five home games, managing the marketing team, the sponsorship team, the ticket revenue team, everything that is attached to the business side, that's pretty much what I handle. This former NFL wide receiver got his start playing football at Hazelwood East. He was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers in 2006. He would then go on to play for the St. Louis Rams before finishing out his playing career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He tells me he feels good about the XFL and its fan base, but wants to amp up the experience this time around. We're going to add some different fan engagement pieces, uh, different style of watch parties, and, and, and kind of give a little bit more um, premium feel, you know, some, some different things like this. Dallas native Marcel Aitman was also a wide receiver in the NFL. He was drafted by the Oakland Raiders in 2018. He then signed with the Arizona Cardinals, but eventually he would end up back in the Lone Star State. It's, it's kind of like a perfect deal for me. It, it set out coming, teams coming here to play, ain't really got to leave. And uh, the system is um, fit around the same system that I'm kind of used to. And um, so it, it's a great deal. Plus, AJ, um, you know, having some, some time with him is great as well. So, you know, it's, it's just a blessing, you know. I Both of these former NFL wide receivers have something else in common, their faith. You know, my faith drives everything. Um, that's kind of my foundation that's carried me through this entire ups and downs of just my journey through football, through family, through um, just through everything. Both admit that being an athlete comes with extreme highs, but also the lows when trying to adjust to a new normal. The break, number one, pray, find that spiritual light, find that spiritual guidance that's within you. Uh, that you may need to find and then reestablish that purpose that you had started to set out on or if you have not found that purpose in your life really start to think about what is it that I can do in this lifetime that brings the most impact to the world and the most joy to me. For Williams, he's had to reinvent himself many times. Going back to school and earning two degrees was a big part of that. It's something about finishing something in your life that opens up another door for you, right? And so when I actually got the opportunity to go back to school and finish the degree, it felt like this weight was lifted off me. All these other opportunities start to open up for me. He also wrote sort of a playbook for other athletes on how to manage their money. It's called Millionaire Mindset, Seven Principles Athletes Need for Financial Freedom. Because I wanted to make sure that I told a little bit of my story, but also taught some lessons in that book. Aitman has also developed other interests. He currently has his own foundation that gives college scholarships to high schoolers in the Dallas area. He's a small business owner and, alongside his personal trainer, works with kids in the area through their joint venture known as Circle Performance. Putting back into these kids, and that's kind of what's been sitting on my heart where I know kind of God has been guiding me to um, do while I've been off. So um, it's been something special to kind of see exactly what we've uh, kind of been doing out here. But those are some of the things that uh, keeps, me, <laughs> keeps me busy as well. And while Aitman is happily grounded in Texas, He's certainly looking forward to spending some time in the loo. It's going to be exciting, man, just to bring that energy to the city on top of the energy they already have. And, you know, having a football team, someone to come and and uh, just celebrate and support and be behind. And the city itself is a great city. So I'm excited just to bring all that energy uh, to the city and bring some excitement and jump into that community and see what that community is like.